G'day guys, Greg here. Well, here I am, back for another video. Even with the head knock. Now, I did go to the doctors today, thanks to the advice from everyone, especially my mum. And, uh, well, I went and uh, asked the doctor, I said, Doctor, am I going to live? Will I ever play the piano again? He said, yes, of course. And I said, well, I never have been able to play it before. I should have put a laugh track in then, shouldn't I? But have a look at it. It's not too bad. And how's my frown lines? Are they getting like Gordon Ramsay's yet? <gasps> That's the goal, isn't it? Get some nice big frowny lines across your face, make you look like you're wise and angry, <laughs> aggressive. But anyway, the doctor, I said, oh, mate, do I need an x-ray? And should I, should I book myself into an old people's home yet? And he's, he had a bit of a feel around and he asked me to look this way and look that way and up and down. And he said, mate, you're very lucky. I can't see any reason why you should go and get an x-ray. I said, not even to waste taxpayers' dollars? He said, no. I was like, fantastic. I didn't want to go and get one anyway because... I mean, they're x-raying your head, aren't they? And there's radiation involved. And, oh, mate, maybe another head will pop off the side. <laughs> Who knows? You never know. But uh, besides that, maybe this head knock's been the best thing that's ever happened to me because I tell you what, I've been really efficient lately. I've been editing. I edited and uploaded four videos today. And that's no mean feat, believe me. If you've ever edited a video, you'll know it's not very easy. I made another video and edited it. And I sort of half edited another video. I just have to go back and re-watch it. But it's like 15 minutes long. I'm like, ah, pulling what hair I have left out of my head. So some of those, you know, you've got to watch them like three or four times back. So there goes an hour. I could have been spending, well drinking one of these. Now, this segment is brought to you by Rodney Agar. Now, Rodney has a YouTube channel called Rodney Reviews Things. Now, he sent me some beer fund donations to Pacific, specifically? Well, it's a Pacific Ale. Well, it's not really, it's a pale ale. He specifically sent some to try uh, a Young Henry's Motorcycle Oil. So here I went toddling down to the old Dan's, then the BWS, and then the Liquor Land. And do you think they had it? No. Dan's told me, oh yeah, we get a case of that in about once every six months. The next case is probably due to arrive in the next six months. I was like, fantastic, good effort. I think I'll grab one of these instead. Because I've, well, I've been eyeing it off because I mean, oh mate, come on, oh mate. I think one of my viewers is old mate. He always says old mate too. But uh, old mate, well, I think it's... Oh, who's texting me? Ah, the old neighbours. The drinking neighbours. He's probably over there watching me. What are you? Get your eyes off me! Yeah. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, old mate. Now, can I even read what this says? I'll see if I can. Who am I kidding? Even out here, I still can't read it. So I better whack some of these on. Right. 10 cent refund at collection depots points in participating states. Ah, okay. Well, uh, the uh, Moondog Brewing is in Abbotsford, Victoria, which is where they make this. And it is a pale ale, and it is 5%. Whoa, whoa, whoa. look out, floor. I'm going to be heading for you later on. Now, before I forget, um, I want to thank Jeremy, John, Tony, Lee as well. Just in case I didn't thank you. We're, I'm pretty sure I did. But uh, this one's brought to us by Rodney. Now, I went and visited Rodney uh, Reviews Things channel. And, well, I, I guess if you're into the uh, 420 or something, you might find his channel a little bit interesting. And, uh, well... I saw one video there where he was reviewing the inside of a refrigerator like at the Dan Murphy's. 
Who does that? Rodney does that. So, the old mate. Let's have a look at what this is like. I have really, honestly, I've been dying. Not literally, although the other day I thought I was. But I've been dying to try this. Old mate. Anyway, like I said, the motorcycle oil is not happening. Maybe in six months' time, so I'll make it this. Right. Oh. Oh, nice peachy smell here. Oh, hmm, smells like a bouquet of flowers. Which, if, if, if there's any women out there that want to give their man a bouquet of flowers, just give him some beer. It's the same thing to us. Okay, let's have a look at this one. See if I can get in the light. Oh. Ooh, a pale ale. I do love my pale ales. Well, it hasn't got much head on it. I probably didn't pour it properly, did I? Uh, damn it. Oh, yeah. Looks all right, though. A 5% alcohol. <sighs> habada, habada. Okay. Oh, yeah, very sweet smelling. Very bouquet-ish. Yeah, yummy. <laughs> well, after today, you know, what time is it? Oh, about four o'clock. I've had a solid day. Didn't get to do any exercise today except walking up and down the shopping mall to the doctors. Uh, it, was, it was actually raining here today for the first time in well, about six weeks, I guess. So it was very welcomed. I threw all the plants outside, so they're getting a nice drink. But that's enough about them. It's all about this. Ooh, mm-hmm, okay, right, I see. Very um, nice and malty with a nice sweet bouquet taste. The, the, the hops seem to sort of start creeping in later, and, but it leaves a nice, just this really nice, like sweet taste on my tongue that tastes pretty good. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's got a real fruitiness about it. If you like fruit tasting beers, I wouldn't be uh, I wouldn't be eating this with a, a fruit salad. You probably couldn't tell the difference. But this is kind of nice. Hmm. Very refreshing. And it's got some nice bubbles still coming up there. Looking good. It's a nice colour. About the colour is going to come out. Let's see if I can get some head on it. Don't we all wish we could get some this easy, right fellas? Oh, that should make a nice froth. There we go. Looks alright, doesn't it? If you're into these sorts of things. I don't know, if you're not into these sorts of things, then you probably shouldn't be watching this video. But I'm glad you are. Thanks for watching. Even though no one wants to see these beer reviews, but that's all you're getting if I haven't been outside. I've had a head knock, remember. I'm not allowed to do anything. Except work. Which I've been doing heaps of today, I tell you. More than ever. The best thing that ever happened to me, this head knock. Did I say that before? Probably. Not that I can remember. The head knock, you know. Yeah, it's not a bad, not a bad one. I, I think it could do with maybe that extra bit of uh, depth towards the end where the, the flavour just really, like, clings on. It sort of dissipates a little bit too fast, but it's still a nice drink, this one. It's a pretty nice pale ale. I do love my pale ales. Now, what do you have pale ales with? Steaks, I think. Now, how about, let's see what, uh, what the app says about this. Right, old mate. Um, okay, well, it's, ha it's got a 3.47 out of five star rating, which for a beer, that's pretty good. Normally it's, what, 2.8. And I'd probably give it about a, a 3 and 3.8, sort of. Um, 
heading up towards a four, maybe a 3.96. But uh, it's a pretty nice one. What's it say here? Let's see. Okay. Uh, pale Ale, American style, it says. And uh, bloody old mate. Did you hear old mate, old mates, old mate with old mate? Struth. Bloody unreal. Mate, I'm not making this stuff up. It's, it's written right there. It's written right there. Uh, which is another way of saying this pale ale has got a real tasty, clean maltiness with a peachy, citrusy, hoppy twang. Old mate loves it. Yeah, it's not bad. Definitely peachy. I would have said more fruity than citrusy. Uh, unless I stuck a whole lemon in my mouth and bit down on it, then uh, I guess it would be about the about the same similarity. But yeah, it's not a bad drop, the old mate. Hmm. Would I get it again? Yeah, probably would. But I mean, I don't know, mate. There's just too many other beers out there to try, isn't there? I'm still waiting to try the uh, that new Forex one. The um, the well, we'll have to find out which one it is. Because uh, I've forgotten. The head knock, you see. The head knock. But uh, here we go. The uh, pale ale. Oh, mate, that's what I've been doing today. Uh, well, <laughs> not this. I only just started this one. I'm going to be laying off it a little bit, I think. I just need to have a few days off. Uh, I had last night off. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> just forget I said that. And, uh, well... If I get another uh, beer fund donation with a, uh, a, 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 a request, if I can find it, then you'll see me again tomorrow. That's if I'm not doing something tomorrow. I'm not too sure. The weather's supposed to, like, turn foul. and Well, it's, it's supposed to be uh, turning into winter soon. It's supposed to get freezing on the weekend. When I say freezing, I'm talking about six degrees, which is freezing. I mean, it doesn't even get that cold here in winter. And it's not even winter yet, is it? I don't know. I think it's nearly winter though. Mind you, we have had the best uh, autumn, no, is it summer? Autumn ever. Oh, beautiful. And those butterflies, they were just plagues of butterflies for like a month or two months, just butterfly after butterfly, billions of them just flying over. It was very interesting times. And the beautiful blue skies, it was wonderful. Anyway, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time I upload to the old Grego channel. I'll see you then.